Hey guys, in this video I'm going to talk about where I source my clean drinking water from and I'm going to share a tip on how you can test the water purity of sources of drinking water that you find on the road. Most van dwellers will typically use their onboard water for one of two things. Drinking and cooking or for household tasks like cleaning and bathing. First, let me make the distinction between drinking water, it's also known as potable water, versus the, the water that you'll be using for household tasks such as washing dishes or showering. So drinking water is also known as potable water. It's also known as improved drinking water. It's water that's safe to drink in order to use for food preparation without risk of any health problems. Non-potable water comes from a variety of other sources. Uh, some of those would include recycled water, rainwater, like uh, I guess they call it reclaimed water. It can be used for washing clothes and flushing toilets, but but the distinction is that it's it's raw water that has been untreated, and this untreated water may not smell bad or taste bad, but if you consume it, you make it really sick. And people can get sick from drinking non-potable water, either from the contaminants that are in the water or some like bacterial or parasitic uh, microorganism. So if possible, that's really something I'd like to avoid. I have two methods of water storage in the van. So for anything that's going into my body, uh, for anything that I'm drinking or cooking with, I source that water from the grocery stores. I like to buy those one gallon plastic jugs and I'll just drink water right out of these like it's a glass. And if I have a recipe that calls for water, this is where I source it from. These are usually like $1 or so for a gallon of water. And what I'll do to save a little bit of money and to not generate as much plastic um, refuge, um, I'll often refill these one uh, gallon water jugs right in the grocery stores. A lot of these grocery stores have purified water dispensers. And they're essentially like mini bottled water treatment systems. Uh, they include multiple filters like uh, activated carbon filtration, reverse osmosis filtration, and uh, like UV lights. And I guess that sort of disinfects. And every source of water is different, but typically these machines, um, they claim to remove 92 to 98% of the contaminants uh, from the source water. And that also includes fluoride. And I got the information from the Glacier's supplier of uh, reverse osmosis uh, membrane filters. And that's what they had on their website. And I looked that up specifically because I had someone comment on one of my last videos. They said that I was wrong at the, um, in saying that the machines remove the fluoride that a lot of these municipalities uh, put into the drinking water still to this day for some reason. This person claimed that uh, RO, uh, reverse osmosis, did not remove fluoride. In fact, it does. Maybe not all of it, but a very good percentage of it, 92 to 98%. And all of these filtering methods re remove like most of the harmful contaminants, but it's, it's actually up for debate if it's safer than municipal tap water uh, that goes into it through the extra filtering process. And there was a study done in 2002 and it concluded that the safety of the water is still uncertain due to the contaminants that may build up on the machine itself over time. If taste alone is not going to sell you on drinking purified water, you can also use a more scientific method. You can use something called a TDS meter. It measures the total dissolved solids, TDS, and basically it's measuring everything that is electrically conductive in the water. So the way that it works is it's got a little battery in there and I imagine when you hit that button there's two little electrodes that are in the water and they fire and it measures the conductivity between those two electrodes. If there's contaminants in your water they will be conductive with the electricity. So more of that electricity gets to the other electrode and it makes for a higher rating. Hard or high TDS tap water is very conductive, where pure reverse osmosis water is completely non-conductive. That means you could stick your hand in live electricity and you would not get shocked. Not that I would recommend doing that, but that just gives you an idea. 
So a TDS monitor is going to give you a good general assessment into how contaminated your drinking water is, and it'll give you a means of comparing a few different water sources. So I hope you were able to see where I source my drinking water from while I'm van dwelling. And if you didn't already know, now you know how you can test your, the purity of your drinking water using a TDS meter. And you can pick one of these up for about $20 from Amazon. Just make sure to use the link in the description to buy yours today. And if you guys liked my video, please do what you will. I'm not going to ask you to click the like button because I've been accused of being a like beggar. And if you want to see more videos like this, then please subscribe or don't subscribe. I've also been accused of being a subscriber beggar. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Take care.